Kalia Nongpo police have detained two more persons in Rebo in connection with IED blast recovery case. Police say during interrogation it has come to light that proscribed outfit HNLC is indulging in brainwashing innocent youths by unleashing vicious propaganda with an objective to keep the extortion industry running. State Bank of India has submitted all details of electoral bonds with serial numbers to the Election Commission of India on the directions of the Supreme Court. The Election Commission of India on Tuesday said it has directed the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology to immediately halt the delivery of the Vixit Bharat message over WhatsApp. Those were the top headlines. Now for the news in details. State Bank of India has submitted all details of electoral bonds with the serial numbers to the Election Commission of India on the directions of the Supreme Court. SBI chairman filed a compliance affidavit in Supreme Court saying that all details of the electoral bonds, including the alpha numerical numbers, have been disclosed to the Election Commission. On March 21, 2024, the SBI provided all details of the electoral bonds which are in its possession and custody to the Election Commission of India. The affidavit of the SBI states. Similarly, KYC details of purchases are not being made public for security reasons, apart from the fact that such information is not fed or collated in the system. However, they are not necessary for identifying the political parties, the affidavit filed by Bank Chairperson Dinesh Kumar Khara said. The affidavit said that the SBI has revealed information which will show the name of the purchaser of the bond, its denomination and specific number, the name of the party that has engaged, the last four digits of the bank account number of the political parties that redeemed the bond and the denomination and unique number of the bond engaged. On March 21, 2024, the State Bank of India has provided and disclose all details of the electoral bonds which are in its possession and custody of the Election Commission of India, it said. It is respectfully submitted that SBI has now disclosed all details and no details other than complete account numbers and KYC details have been withheld from disclosure in terms of the directions contained. The judgment dated February 15, 2024 read, with order dated March 18, 2024 passed by this court. The affidavit said, on March 18, the Apex Court had told the SBI to stop being selective and make complete disclosure of all details related to the electoral bond scheme by March 21st. The top court has said that the details to be disclosed must include the unique bond numbers that would match the bias with the recipient political parties. As Lok Sabha election draws closer and all political parties are in mood to campaign, a village in Assam's Mariani called Gondia Miss Missing Goa has decided to boycott the upcoming election due to the non-performance of the MLAs in the area. Public in the area say that the roads are in dilapidated condition, water is impotable and development works pending. The protesters said they will not be casting their votes and political leaders will not be allowed to enter the area. According to information received, the area has majority of BJP supporters. However, despite many appeals, the area remain neglected. I am not going to be able Kuar pani tuli tuli amar ga bikhai goi se pani be bosta nai rasta be bosta nai be apai se ki kok montiri emele ahile rasta dim pani dim pani dim kia aji podon te tu palo pani dia nai e tu amak lage e kane ami kub be apai so agon tong ni basonor ami boot bosan to korim okule homu gondia baki raise aji uposthit hoyse yat kunu dol hongoton nai ami khub abegot ulai aisu aji bosor bosor dhori aji 15 20 bosor 25 bosor dhori amak ji protishuti di aise je gondia gaon rasta tu banai dim banai dim kintu aji luke amak banai dibo noaile hei protishuti amar ki hote amak gurtohin koile hei gurtohinot ami yat gute gaon jitu jiatu mane bhugi asu gotikole ami bhabu yat ami bhut dipini ami ki koribo bisarisu Gotikale, I am a I am Niai Zuzot Namisu. I am yet Karu Sartor Zuzot. I am Amag Niai Lage. Amag Rasta Lage. 
আমাক পদুলি লাগে আমাক পানি যোগান লাগে আমার এই গাঁখনত একুয়ে নাই গতি আমি এই আপনার যদি মুখ্যমন্ত্রী মহোদয়ক আমি জানাব বিচারি যে আমার এখন গাঁর পরে আমার এ সি এস আই পি এস প্রশাসনিক বিষয়া আর ডক্টর ইঞ্জিনিয়ার ওলাইছে বোকা পানি গছকিয়ে আমি ইয়াত ইমানবর মানু এটা ডর ডর মানুবর সৃষ্টি হয়েছে গতি আপনি আমার এবার চকু মেলি চাওক আমার রাস্তাটা বনাও আমি কিন্তু এবার ন্যায় যোজাত আমি ভোট বর্জন করি বলে সকল গন্ধিয়াবাসী রাইজে আমি ঠিয়াং করছো যদি আগন্তক দিন যদি আমার রাস্তাটা বনায় নিদিয়ে আমি বিধানসভাতো আমি এই অংশগ্রহণ করি বলে আমি মার বান্ধি ঠিয় হয়েছো That was on the Mariani protest. Heading on to the next news. The Supreme Court on Thursday stated a sentence notification on setting up a fact-checking unit under the Press Information Bureau to identify fa fake news about the union government, saying that the challenge to the FCU involves serious constitutional questions. The fact-check unit was notified on March 20 under Information Technology Rules 2021 by the Ministry of Electronics and IT. A bench headed by the Chief Justice of India, D.Y. Chandrachud, set aside the March 11 order of the Bombay High Court, which had refused to grant an interim stay on setting up the FCU under the amended IT rules to identify fake and false content on social media about the union government. Rule 31B. Five of the IT Intermediary Guidelines and Digital Media Ethic Code, Rules 2021. The FCU will be the nodal agency to tackle or alert about all fake news of misinformation related to the central government. The notification came days after the Bombay High Court declined the restraint to the center from notifying the unit. The petition was filed by stand-up comedian Kunal Kamra and the editor's Guild of India. In April last year, the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology promulgated the 2023 rules, which further amended the Information Technology Rules 2021. Under the new rules, if the fact check unit comes across or is informed about any posts that are fake, false, or contain misleading facts pertaining to the business of the government, it would flag it to the social media intermediary. Introducing the Nagaland Disaster Management School Safety Policy Compliance Course, a compulsory digital training platform for educators. Upon completion, receive official certification issued by the Department of School Education and the NSDMA, validating your commitment to ensuring safer educational spaces. Register now for the School Safety Policy Compliance Course by going on the Department of School Education website and clicking on Register. This is a mandatory course for all teachers, educators and stakeholders in both government as well as private schools. Join us in creating a safer future for Nagaland's educational landscape. Toki <laughs> Muki Kali, Mitahelage, Idu Hildi Ese, UHD treated, Arosapabi Ese, Third, Idu Fresh Ese, Aramuzabi. Wow, Kevin de Lassi, Mitabi, Healthy B. Kevin de Lassi, Mitabi, Healthy B. Gar Jal Pratiro Dak Cement Se Nahibana, To Padega Rona. पानी घुसने से कंक्रीट कमजोर हो जाए स्टार वेदर शील्ड सीमेंट खराब मौसम में घर वेदर प्रूफ बनाए स्टार वेदर शील्ड जल प्रतिरोधक सीमेंट वेदर प्रूफ घर डर मत टाइगर है ना ब्लैक टाइगर सीमेंट Because sometimes news is more than mere information. And we all need a little more clarity under the details about life, people, and events that truly really matter. For individuals that demand reliable news. From reliable news organizations and credible and award winning journalists. And how we look at the world. This is exactly the reason why we strive to serve you and.
Welcome back. Heading on to the next news. The Election Commission of India on Thursday said it has directed the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology to immediately halt the delivery of Vixit Bharat messages over WhatsApp. It has also sought a compliance report on the matter from the IT Ministry. The poll body said it received several complaints of messages highlighting the government's initiatives being delivered on the phones of citizens despite the announcement of the general election and model code of conduct coming into action in response MEITY had informed the Commission that although the letters were sent out before MCC came into force, some of them could have possibly been delivered to recipients with a delay because of systematic and network limitations. The poll body said the move is a part of a series of decisions taken by the Commission to ensure a level playing field, it added. The WhatsApp message from Vix Vixit Bharat Sampark has been making rounds seeking feedbacks and suggestions from the citizens along with a letter from the Prime Minister Narendra Modi. In the letter issued on the eve of the announcement of the general elections, the Prime Minister Modi said, I need and indeed look forward to your ideas, suggestions and support as we work to fulfill the resolve of building a Vixit Bharat. The letter, which has been addressed to my dear family members, in line with the BJP's Modi Ka Parivar, the Prime Minister said, our partnership is at the threshold of completing a decade. The trust and support of 140 crore Indians inspires and motivates me. He has credited the government schemes and programs for the transformation that has taken place in the lives of the people and called it the biggest achievement of our government over the last 10 years. Meghalaya's Nongpo police have detained two more persons in Reboi connection with IED blast recovery case. Police said during the interrogation it has come to light that proscribed outfit HNLC is indulging in brainwashing innocent youths by unleashing vicious propaganda with an objective to keep their extortion industry running. Police further said it also investigating if any financial contributions have been made to the outfit stating that any person found having association with the group will be questioned and legal liability will be fixed under Unlawful Activities Prevention Act. One more case has also been registered regarding hoisting of the HNLC flag on National Highway in Reboi District in August 2023. It has also been informed that all nefarious activities of HNLC are being conducted through social media and VOIP platforms and advise all to inform the police and block the profile or the number making contact. Police have also released a video of conversation between a so-called military commander, Sanbor Pala of HNLC, and one of the main accused in Reboy IED blast recovery case. Hello. <laughs> มันเลยอยู่กันตะกันบังอํานวดบันเตรดมาอํานวดบันเปรดนะกันเอ็มบะเลยอยู่มั้ยตะบังบังอํานวดชุกกันบันเตรมาอํานวดบันเปรดนะ
That was on the IED blast case in Reboy district. We'll now take another short break. Introducing the Nagaland Disaster Management School Safety Policy Compliance Course, a compulsory digital training platform for educators and all stakeholders in Nagaland. The comprehensive digital course comprises of eight modules that encompasses essential skills in disaster management. Explore content curated with engaging visuals, informative videos, interactive quizzes, and practical insights. Upon completion, receive official certification issued by the Department of School Education and the NSDMA, validating your commitment to ensuring safer educational spaces. Register now for the School Safety Policy Compliance Course by going on the Department of School Education website and clicking on Register. This is a mandatory course for all teachers, educators, and stakeholders in both government as well as private schools. Join us in creating a safer future for Nagaland's educational landscape. Sapa Nahwa Khana Aru Pani Kha Karuni Diarrhea Cholera Aru Typhoid Nishina Bimari Hobo Pare Bacha Khan Ke Diarrhea Hwato Bishipar Sapa Nahwa Pani Kha Karuni Hoi Diarrhea To Thik Pra Nasai Leto Jan Bi Jabole Pare Inika Bimari Pra Ami Khan Laga Gaute Welcome back. IGP STF Assam Police Partha Shadrat Mahanta on Thursday addressed a press conference at Assam Police Headquarters Ulubari in Guwahati regarding ISIS arrested from Dubri. He said 15 days ago Assam Police got information about ISIS movement in Assam, so a team was mobilized and operations began on 18 March. The next day, search operation was launched in general area Dharamshala of Dubri, where the accused were located on foot and looking for vehicle to move out of the area. After matching the photos of the ISIS top leaders who were also wanted in NIA cases, they were net. He said since cases are pending with NIA, they have been handed over to the NIA and, uh, and is taking to proceedings forward. IGB mentioned that the accused were probably in Assam for a couple of days and now police are working on locating their sleeper cells in Assam. One of the accused, Faruqi, is said to be an expert in indoctrination expert in managing funds and he is also IED expert. About 15 days ago, we received intelligence from a central agency that there could be movements of top rung ISIS leaders in certain parts of Dhubri district. This was a credible information which prompted special task force to take action. We deployed our men to the probable areas of movement and by 18th, we could narrow down our focus. And by 19th, we received specific information 
about the likely movement and therefore i too can stf team along with additional sp kolidan pathak and we went to general area dharmashala of dhubri this was uh, the intervening night of 19th and 20th and by about 4 o'clock in the morning that is 4 o'clock on 20th morning we found two men they were moving on foot apparently looking for a transport to move to their destination we had photographs of the top level leaders of isis with us and two of the photographs matched with these two men and uh, we could immediately identify them as harris faruqi he is the head of isis operations in india harris faruqi is from dehradun son of azmal faruqi resident of ward number 15 gandhi road dehradun uttarakhand along with him we found another man who was identified as anurag singh alias rehan he is from panipat haryana he is son of manbir singh a resident of diwana panipat manbir manbir in fact these two leaders are wanted in nia cases nia had already shared that with us and uh, since cases are pending in nia against these two isis leaders we have handed over them to nia and uh, NIA is proceeding with their arrest and other legal procedures and uh, of course uh, we will be working together with NIA and uh, any action that Assam police needs to take regarding the revelations and other facts that would come up during investigation we will take in assam and for other parts of the country nia is already on the job and they will be taking the follow up actions that's all for the prime time bulletin this is yanka signing off